Welcome to the Frank D. Latchman Regional Center's video series on our self-determination program. My name is Adrian Jimenez and I am a self-determination specialist at Latchman Regional Center. Self-determination is an alternative to the traditional regional center service delivery. With our self-determination program, or STP for short, individuals will have the authority to manage a budget to purchase services outside of the traditional regional center vendors. In this video, we will provide information about one of the important components of self-determination, individual budgets and spending plans. The individual budget amount is the amount of money the regional center spent on services in the last 12 months for the participant. A report called a 12-month spending report will show this amount. You can request this from your service coordinator. It is a starting point when creating a participant's self-determination budget. To clarify, it's not the amount of dollars authorized for services, but the dollars spent in the last 12 months. This report details the funds that have been authorized, whether used or not used. The participant can request this report from their service coordinator, or can give permission to their independent facilitator or anyone supporting them in the self-determination program to request this report. Through the person Center plan presentation, the participant, their team, and the regional center discuss the current services on the 12-month spending report, and the unmet needs and their ultimate goals to live a self-determined life. An unmet need may include a service that was needed in the traditional service model, but was not part of the IPP, a service that was authorized but not utilized, or a need that had yet to be explored. Once all this information is captured, the regional center will develop a self-determination budget for the participant. Unused funds, unmet needs, and the client's goals will be considered when determining their self-determination budget. After the budget is developed, this is presented to the participant and their self-determination team. If they are in agreement with their proposed budget, this budget gets certified or approved by the regional center. After the participant has received a certified budget with assistance from their self-determination team, they will develop a spending plan. The participant, with the support of their independent facilitator and financial management service, will determine exactly how much will be spent on each service identified in their spending plan. The FMS will oversee the participant's self-determination budget and will support the participant and their team in making sure that all services in their spending plan are paid for. If you need more information, there is a video in the series that covers more on the financial management service. Now we will hear from Sulman Freddy, participants in the self-determination pilot program, with their thoughts on the budgeting process. Starting with the budget, uh, we went with the 12 month period from the previous year. And then from there, we started going on what are the things that Freddy needed during that time, as far as his goals for the upcoming years. And you know, things change. Uh, every year, your child might need other things. When uh, the budget was presented by uh, Lantrum and Regional Center to us, we, we met as, uh, as a group and we discussed it and we talked about the goals and what this budget meant for Freddie. And so uh, based on that, as a team, you know, being part of that team, we agreed and, and that's how it was concluded to make sure that the services and the budget was, uh, was placed for him annually. If you're just starting this process of budget, what I would suggest for you is as a, you know, as a parent, as a guardian, is to make sure that you look at the goals. Your, you know, your child is going to change every year, and you have to look at those goals. What do you want for your child to succeed for the upcoming year? And based on that, check and see what are the, the strengths and the needs that your child will require, and go from there. The participant and their support team will identify which services or supports they can receive at no cost. These services are called generic resources. Generic resources are public agencies that are legally required to provide services to individuals with developmental disabilities. There is another video in this series on generic resources, how to find them, and how to utilize them. Examples of generic resources are medical insurance, public schools, county mental health, social security, department of rehabilitation, and other public agencies. Using generic resources will help the client maximize their budget. Generic resources are not included in the participant's spending plan. 
All participants are expected to exhaust generic resources before using their individual budget to purchase these services. Services and programs or items that are included in the spending plan must be federally reimbursable. You will find a list of these services on the Lanterman website. The FMS will assist the participant in following labor laws, budgeting for taxes and insurance to account for the cost of these items in their spending plan. After the participant and their self-determination team have developed their spending plan, it is submitted to the Regional Center for review. Regional Center will review the participant's spending plan to assure that it is compliant with the self-determination program guidelines. All services and items are federally reimbursable and follow the HCBS Home and Community-Based Service Final Rule. HCBS Final Rule requires that places where participants receive services may not be segregated. SDP guidelines state that the participant should not exceed their SDP certified budget and all generic resources have been exhausted. All items and services must coincide with the client's overall goals identified in their person center plan. The participant's independent facilitator, IF, and financial management service, FMS, will support the participant in identifying services that are federally reimbursable. Examples of these include community living supports, respite services, community integration, and technology supports. After the spending plan has been approved, the participant service coordinator will develop their individual program plan or IPP. The IPP will include the participant's goals addressed in their person center plan and the services in the participant's spending plan. The IPP will be reviewed with the participant and their SDP team. The participant can start purchasing services the first day of the following month. Thank you for viewing this video about the Self-Determination Program at Lanterman Regional Center. This is one in a series of five videos that explain the program and may help you decide if you want to participate. View all five videos for a more complete understanding of the program. Please contact your service coordinator with any questions you may have or to begin the process of self-determination.